Amen. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to dance? If you are ready, can you stand to your feet wherever you are? And look at your neighbor. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Congratulations. Congratulations. It won't be long. It won't be long. I will testify with you. I will testify with you. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Congratulations. Congratulations. It won't be long. It won't be long. You will testify with me. I'm waiting for you now. Please unleash the loop. Thank you. God bless you. Can you look at the person beside you? Hi, but why? Say, neighbor, me. Allow God to bless me before you. Allow God to bless me before you. Allow God. Wagba. The Bible says, eyes have not seen. Years have not heard. Neither has it come to the heart of any man. What the Lord will do for me, they may allow. Can you move around, move around, move around? Announce this to seven people prophetically. Tell them, I am not stranded. I am not stranded. Yeah. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for you. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for you. Somebody. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for you. Everybody. But the Holy Spirit will not let me rest. Said I should tell you this. About six weeks ago, I was in Tampa, Florida, and a bishop was in that church to amongst the preachers. And he said to us that when he sees us in church, that the way we dance when we need to dance. The way we clap when we need to clap. He said, he would just laugh. And said we needed to ask him. He was in his car one day. And the Lord spoke to him. He was a stark unbeliever. God had been giving him opportunity to surrender his life to Jesus. He wouldn't. And God told him that this is your last chance. Will you give your life to me? He dismissed the thought. He entered his house. 
switch on. Maybe it was the gas boiler that they would switch on, and the whole house went on fire. It was engulfed in flame. By the time the paramedics, ambulances came and all that, cut a long story short, he was completely gone, declared dead. They were packing him up when his praying mother came. The praying mother who had been praying for him for years came and said, don't take him to the mortuary. And the mother prayed and cried to God. Power of resurrection came upon him and he woke up from the dead. Now, listen, they performed 256 surgeries on him. He stood before us and he was telling us, he said, the hands that you are looking at are not my hands. They were not his hands. He acquired them out of surgery. He said, look at these hairs that you are looking at. They are the hairs of a 12-year-old that died and donated the organ. And you could see the small hairs. This man, I think he's 74 years old now. The accident happened about 10 years ago. And so he said, when they ask you to clap for Jesus, He said, he said, he had 25 surgeries on the hands, even to be able to manage, not to talk of number of surgeries on his face. He said, the legs that you are looking at, the knees were not his knees. They were all donated organs. He said, God gave him a second life. And I decided to now leave it to the fool. So he said, the pity those of us who will not down, who have our hands, not other people's hands, our legs, our lips, the lips who are not his lips, the nose he acquired from surgery. You have all those things in touch. Will you give them to the Lord in dance and in prayer? You are good, let your mercy is forever. You are good, and your mercy is forever. For you are love. Oh, oh, oh. 
Sasa. Say it and say my neighbor. Excuse me. Say my neighbor. Make way, Can you invite your neighbor to the front?